Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how to translate a website. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So of course, uh, translating a website involves converting its content from one language to another. It just means that it makes it accessible to users who speak different languages. So I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to translate a website. Now, of course, there are a couple of different methods to use. So first one would be to determine the scope. Make sure you identify which parts of the website that needs to be translated. So you may include the main content, the menus, navigations, the forms, error messages, or any other user interface elements. Now, another way uh, could be simply just to choose a translation method and decide on the translation method you will use. So it could be manual translation. So you can initially just manually translate the content by copying and pasting it into a translation tool or document. And of course, that does require human translation expertise. Hence why this method would be a little bit more time consuming, but it will be accurate. I wouldn't recommend to use that for any larger websites. Now, another way to do it as well is to do the machine translation. So automated translation tools like Google Translate or Microsoft Translator can be used to quickly translate the content. However, the machine translation may not always provide accurate or contextually appropriate translations. So it can still be a bit well, it won't be correct per se. So that may affect your website, especially for complex or maybe specialized content. Another way to do it would be to do a professional translation, just using a service. Now, hiring professional translators or translation agencies ensure that you have the highest quality and accurate translations. So they have the expertise to handle various languages and can provide culturally appropriate translations. So you could be doing that, especially if you're creating a website and say that you wanted to have individual ones, like there's one for Spanish, there's one for French, German, then it would take more time and effort to actually translate each page, let's just say, but having a professional translation service ensures that you're getting the correct and culturally appropriate translation. Now, depending if you are using a plugin or using WordPress, there are translation plugins available or even these services. So if you're using the likes of content management systems like WordPress, there are translation plugins that are available that can simplify the translation process. And these plugins enable you to manage tra translations directly within your website. And just to furthermore explain what I'm meaning is as you can see, you have ones that are like Translate WordPress with G Translate, and then there's a couple of ones that are like Translate Multilingual Sites. Uh, you have Local Translate, so quite a couple of plugins just to help assist the website. Now, make sure you prepare the website. So, once you uh, make sure that your website is ready for translation. Ensure that the code and structure of the website support multilingual content. Use proper HTML markup and CSS for text elements to facilitate translations. Also consider internationalization for the uh, best practices. So that would mainly be using language tags and providing clear separation of content and code. Now, right, another one would be to create language versions. So set up language versions of your website. So this typically involves creating sub directories or subdomains for each language. So if you guys have a think about it, it's pretty much just like a, this would be an example. So uh, if you were doing something for French, it would be your website name.com forward slash fr for French, you know, uh, or um, if you were looking one for German, it would be like 
gmn something like that so just so you can create subdomains for each of the languages now another thing that you can do as well is to actually implement translation so once the translations are ready implement them on your website Make sure that you replace the original content with the translated versions. That ensures that all elements including text, images, links and multimedia are correctly updated. Test the translated website thoroughly just to ensure that everything displays correctly and functions as expected. And make sure as well as that that you consider localizing your website beyond translation. Uh, by adapting it to the target audience culture, so preferences as well, regional requirements, and this may involve adjusting date formats, currencies, uh, units of measurement, and other localized elements. And the main factor of it all, if you are going to be offering translations on your website, is to maintain an update. So just regularly review and update the translated content, make sure you keep it accurate, make sure it's up to date, and just maintain consistent branding and user experience across all language versions of your website. Now, remember, once the translations are ready, so you just got to keep maintaining them, making sure they are up to date and that it's been localized, like it's the actual language that you're providing a translation for. But just remember anyway that um, translating a website is not a one-time task. It requires ongoing maintain, uh, maintenance, constant updates as well as your content evolves or new features are added. Additionally, providing language switchers or language selection options on your website can enhance the user experience. That's why people would have it. Especially if you're running an e-commerce website, it's something that would be good to have, especially uh, if you are selling internationally, uh, providing different languages within your website will boost the site's recognition on an online mark um on online marketing but anyways guys that reaches the end of the video if you guys have any questions at all please do leave them down in the comment section below but other than that i'll see you guys for the next video thank you very much for watching